All right, guys, Josh here with Wheats Off-Road. We have Doug Thomas in the shop with us, doing some work on his Jeep. Uh, why don't you just uh, give us a breakdown on uh, what you've got done here, Doug? Well, the, uh, the Jeep itself has a LS3 uh, 6L80 transmission, 3.8 to 1, out of transfer case, going to, went to Rock Jock uh, 60 axles, ultimate axles. I continue to break the, the axles, the gears, so I brought it to Mark, and Mark has set me up with a Shea 14 bolt for wide open designs. And since we went ahead and did that way, we went ahead and triangulated the rear, coilovers in the rear, moved the fuel tank to the rear, basically taking the rear end to the next level. And the next awesome. time around, we'll uh, look at doing the front end. Okay. Well, appreciate the information, Doug. And uh, we're going to walk around the Jeep real quick and just kind of look at some of the goodies. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and start here with the, the engine. Give me just a second here, guys. I'm one-handed. <laughs> All right. So there's that LS3. And one of my favorite things about doing the LS3 is you have such a straight shot to the AC. You don't have to worry about the cover being as high as like a 5.3. This is installed by Orrin Anderson at Track and Trail Off-Road, and it's got the RPM Extreme uh, system, so the computers work with, it, the, with the Jeep computers, so everything, all gauges work like they're supposed to. Everything works like it's supposed to. So it retains the entire it retains system. retains everything, exactly. The two computers work together. All right, well, let's move on. Just kind of look at the setup here. It's got a uh, Rusty's and Rusty's off road has uh, contributed a lot to this Jeep. Right now it's running his springs and shocks on the front of it. It's been okay. real successful. Now these bead locks. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these bead locks that are on here. Well, actually, uh, there again, they came from Rusty's. Um, I just told him I wanted some uh, shiny, and he had those in their trail gear, and uh, they've held up really well. It isn't like I picked a certain kind, but man, they've held up well. Now with these bead locks, do these individual pieces come individual off? Individual pieces, yes they okay. do. Okay. Can't tell you why it's that way, but I can tell you I have thrown this Jeep all over the place, all over this country, and it's done quite well. Fantastic. And of course we've got the rock slides. Mm -hmm. The rock slides have done really well. I encourage anybody who puts the engineer rock slides on to put the armor on. If you do not install that armor right there, so you, it protects you everything. Yep. You will hate yourself. That armor has saved these rock slides. So as you tell, everything gets banged. Oh, this, yeah. This is Rusty's right here. And uh, you can see it. these things take abuse. All right. And then inside, we have, of course, the custom PRP seats. Custom PRP seats. The, uh, I think it's a Smitty Belt sports cage. Okay. Got the cage in there. It has the gauges up here that RPM Extreme installed that I can see what the GM stuff's doing on the engine. Gotcha. All right, and of course we have the axle that we were just talking about from wide open. So it's a beast. Uh, it's next level. And then of course the tank relocate. Mm -hmm. Check it. They did, a, they did a tremendous job inside of here with all the uh, retaining the look of the Jeep on the inside. Just a super, a super clean job. All right, so these are the tower boxes mm -hmm. that we installed. Mm -hmm. um, and then we came up with this design for the top to put a crossbar mm -hmm. in. And I this was all custom made here by Jake, our fabricator. I store a lot of gear in here. So Mark installed these little devices yep. here so I can continue to store gear in here. And then of course, underneath here is where we have our Genrite cover for the fuel pump access. Okay. Yeah. It has a rusty tire carrier, which has carried this 40 inch tire with zero problems. All right, guys, that's pretty much the walk around. 
Uh, we appreciate you giving us the, the information, Doug, and we're glad to have you here at Wheats and can't That's wait to it. see what this thing does. Hey, they do an awesome job here. I told them I ought to do it for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Yes, sir.